Hello queens and welcome back to today's video. We are going to be talking all about aloe vera and the multiple benefits of using aloe vera as well as how I created my own pre-poo for this particular wash day as well as the benefits I've received after using it and why I will continue using it going forward. So what you'll need is a cutting board, a knife, you'll need a bowl for the aloe vera as well as a whole aloe vera plant <laughs> of course. So starting off with the knife you're going to see here that I'm cutting it down into about one inch size pieces. As you can see that it does have like a Memphis light membrane for the actual aloe vera which we will be using solely for our hair today. So I'm going to start by cutting off the ends to make it a little bit easier. You'll want a separate bowl to put the extra ends away. And then we're going to gently and slowly take our time in preparing this aloe vera because it's very, very slippery and we don't want to risk the chance of you actually cutting yourself. So just take your time in doing this step. And this is what you'll get. So typically people like to just keep it this way and just go ahead and apply it directly to the scalp but I'm going to show you how I actually plan on creating my own pre-poo mixture. And we're going to repeat this process for the remaining pieces of aloe vera that we have left. Once that's done this is what all of your aloe vera should look like and then these are the actual skin of the aloe vera. So you'll need a blender of your choice. I'm just going to use my Ninja. I'll leave everything listed in today's video below. And we're going to place the aloe vera inside the blender. And then do as I say, not as I do. You're going to add five tablespoons of water. Yes, five tablespoons and not one as you guys saw me do here. And you'll also want to add three drops of tea tree oil. And then we're simply going to blend and mix everything together until very smooth into the desired consistency. This is what it should look like after you've blended everything all together. And again, you can use aloe vera for multiple purposes. So for my own sake, I did transfer all of my aloe vera pre-poo mixture into an applicator bottle just to make it easier for my wash day. And we're going to start on very, very old hair. My hair is about, oh my goodness, about 14 days old and it's very dry, very, very dirty. And we're going to put my hair into four sections here. And as you guys can see, my scalp is very, very dry. It has not been dry like this in a very long time. So it, it was a perfect time to go ahead and experiment with my own aloe vera pre-poo. So what we're going to do here, we're going to make sure everything's shooken up and taking the tip of the applicator bottle and placing it directly to the scalp, you'll instantly feel a cooling sensation from the aloe vera, which is normal because a lot of people use aloe vera for cuts, scrapes, and burns. And oh my gosh, with the tea tree oil, it really did help with soothing all of that itchiness and dryness that I had from again of wearing my hair for 14 days straight. And I'm going to make sure I do this for every section, just taking my time because again, we want to make sure that we target every single spot where it is excessively dry, itchy, or flaky. Or if you're even experiencing dandruff, the pre-poo using the aloe vera for yourself will work good. You just want to take your time and to just massage it into the scalp. Again, just making sure that you soothe any itchy places and again, any kind of dandruff. So I'm going to take my rat tail comb for the purpose of this video and part my hair into smaller sections so I can make sure that all of my scalp gets covered with the actual aloe vera pre-poo. And then again, I'm just going to take my time and massage this in. It was so therapeutic and relaxing, you guys, and I really hope you guys try this out on your own natural hair because aloe vera has so many benefits. So the benefits of using aloe vera, it helps to detoxify the body. It lowers cholesterol, it hydrates the skin, it supports the immune system, it stabilizes blood sugar, it soothes arthritis pain, it can prevent kidney stones, it has a cooling and repairing effect for sunburns, cuts and scrapes, it reduces high blood pressure, it can strengthen the gums and it promotes strong healthy teeth, it heals the intestines and lubricates the digestive tract, it can prevent candida infections, 
It can boost your cardiovascular performance. It's helpful in curing blisters, insect bites, eczema, burns, inflammation, wounds, and psoriasis. And it also aids in hair loss and frizzy hair. Aloe vera also contains vitamin A, C, E, folic acid, vitamins B1, 2, E, and 6. It also contains amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein, so that will help in the strengthening of your natural hair. It contains minerals such as copper, zinc, which are vital for hair growth. It protects the moisture levels for curly hair, especially for women in the African American community or if you have natural hair, period. It provides strength and shine to the hair. And it can also be used as well as a facial toner. It can be used for a mask. It can be used as a skin moisturizer. It can be used for so many other purposes. So I highly recommend you do your research on the uses for aloe vera. With the addition of tea tree oil, it also acts as an antibacterial and an antifungal property, and it can be used for cuts, scrapes, and burns as well. Other additional benefits of using tea tree, it can help with acne, it can help with dry cuticles of your fingernails, dandruff of the scalp, eczema, and psoriasis. Alright you guys, so these are my twists with all the aloe vera on here. It feels so freaking good to the scalp y'all. So what I'm getting ready to do in a second is to actually um, apply a plastic cap on top of my head. And I'm just going to leave it on for 30 minutes because this is my first time experimenting with using aloe vera. And I did put in here three drops of um, essential oil tea tree oil and it's the actual tea tree oil so it's very very strong so i made sure that in the video that i did actually add five tablespoons not just one tablespoon but i went back and added four more tablespoons of water to the mixture and then i added the three drops again of the essential oil of the tea tree oil so i wanted to use the tea tree oil because i know it's good for your scalp it's really good for like any kind of bacteria or anything like that and as you guys can see my scalp was dry like and how and how ironic enough that it was dry enough for this video for the purpose of this video so i really did enjoy this mixture as you guys can see i have quite a bit left so i'm not going to get rid of it actually i'm going to refrigerate it and actually use it next week or on alexa's hair so either way it won't go to use and yeah so i really do like how this is feeling on my scalp i mean my scalp is completely itch free completely itch gone and again i'm just going to apply my plastic cap and i'm going to let it sit on here for 30 minutes i'm going to rinse it out and then i'll come back on here to show you guys what my results are after using the aloe vera as a actual pre-poo 
So queens, y'all know I already left this thing on overnight. So I'm showing you guys what it looks like after leaving it on my hair overnight. My hair was so moisturized. It was so juicy and it might not look like it on camera, but believe me, my hair was like moisturized, wet. And I went back on every single twist and actually added additional product of the aloe vera pre -poo. So my hair was super, super moisturized. And then once I did go in with my actual wash stand and begin shampooing, my hair was so soft. I recommend that you spritz your hair lightly with water while doing this process because it would definitely be an added benefit to your hair remaining smooth soft and also having shine for your next um set and style so i hope you guys enjoyed this video queens i will be doing more videos like this in the future so comment with ideas below make sure you subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you all in my next upload love you guys bye